Hello everyone, Pally Tom here. Welcome back to the Outer World. We're continuing our main story quest here, the city and the stars. Now that Phineas is, knows that Minister Clark's been hoarding dimethyl sulfoxide in Byzantium, he just needs you to get to the city and steal it. Easy. This is after we got all of those sciency weapons. I don't know if that was part of the main quest, but that's exactly what I did. Uh, all we did was land here after that. You guys didn't really miss too much of anything. Uh, I believe his contact is right over here. Hello. I like your glasses. Do you mind? I'm meeting someone. That would be me. Shh. No names, okay? The Phoenix is a wanted man and the board has eyes everywhere in Byzantium. Byz I even said the name of the fucking planet wrong. <laughs> or the city or whatever. Uh, let's just get the let's get this over with. You have some fucking information for me? Yeah. You're looking to make contact with Minister uh, Magpie, right? Yeah, Minister. I should warn you, it won't be easy. He spends most of his time in his estate, which is heavily guarded. Well, what if I uh, just kill them? Is there any way to catch him someplace less protected? Afraid not. He almost never leaves his home, and his guards never leave him. Can't say I blame him. It's scary out of doors. I mean, can you even count how many times we've been shot at? No. What work specialists, huh? Our mutual friend is really branching out. Um, can't you get me into the minister's estate? Whoa, I'm not one of your B and E specialists. I just provide intelligence. That's fair. Uh, what can you tell me with your intelligence? Some of the guards hang around Billingsley's house of inebriation between shifts. House of inebriation. Count me the hell in. And count me out. Maybe you could do some reconnaissance there. You know, swipe a key while nobody's looking. Uh, that's theft, not reconnaissance. Whatever. I'm better with bird terms. <laughs> Magpie. Uh, how exactly did you get involved in this anyway? I've always been fascinated by birds. If you ever research Earth species, there are thousands of them. So colorful and distinct. True. Here we got 11 flavors of terror rays and not much else. That kind of variety? I mean, gosh, seems almost impossible. All of them trying to eat you, I'd wager. The other thing about birds, though, is their environmental indicators. When they die off, it's a sign that something's wrong. Everybody knows that. Exactly. I started thinking about everything we see around Halcyon, and all the things we don't see. Like what? For starters, you rarely come across anyone living in Byzantium who wasn't born here even though we get ships in all the time. Doesn't that seem strange to you? Uh, it does, yeah, sure, whatever. And then there's the way nothing gets fixed. There used to be a suggestion box around here. People would drop ideas in. Nothing ever came of them, of course. That seems pretty fucking normal. Sure, that part is. That's why they install shredders in those boxes, after all. Well. <laughs> but one day the shredder broke. No one came to fix it. And since it wasn't working, we didn't have anywhere to file our complaints. So you can imagine how messy things got. I can, yeah. I bet your repair folks couldn't find parts. Back in Edgewater, I'd have to take something apart just to put another thing back together. Might have been the paperwork. Here, you have to append forms to your forms, and law help you if there's a single dash out of place. A regular tragedy. At first, management put up an out-of-order sign. But that just seemed to worry people, like they were advertising something wasn't working. They eventually took the whole suggestion box sign down so that people didn't have any expectations about it. But they never fixed it, never replaced it. Doesn't that seem odd to you? Uh, all this over a suggestion box? Uh, um... <laughs> Oh, that's how things go around Halcyon, in case you didn't notice. That seems rude. It seems like the suggestion box was useless. That's fucking true. Uh, yes, that seems odd. Whatever. If things are broken here, of all places, then I'm starting to think there ain't a hope left in this colony. Things have kept on running this long, right? Or so I used to think. The whole episode made me wonder. If they can't fix something as simple as a suggestion box, what else aren't they fixing? After a while, 
I got connected with our mutual friend oh, yeah, and started Phineas. using my position here to feed him information when I could. That's it, really. All right. Well, it looks like I got work to do. Thank you. Let's go see if we can get ourselves a key card at the inebriation station. There's a restaurant that I've been to before. I don't think this place was called the inebriation station, but the restaurant has a place called the inebriation station. And it was like you could go in and you, you buy beer by the ounce. And they had like 36 varieties or something. I spent a lot of time there back in my day. Eight months sober now. Eight months, three days. Not too bad. So what if all those MSI suits made it on... Hey, you open that door? So what if those MSI suits made it on Monarch the Cold Ride? Who opens the I fucking door? Easy. You open the door? We do have a map, but the map leads to the door. Uh, it says it's sealed. Uh, we can't go this way, right? No. Um, hello? A UDL secure... Nothing exciting ever happens around here. Fucking... Oh, open the door, dude! Oh, I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> yeah, I swear I haven't been hitting the inebriation station. <laughs> I was feeling so claustrophobic. It's like the walls were caving in. Alright, so one of these is going to be a dude's estate, and the other is going to be a bar. And we may just find a key card in that bar. I love her helmet, dude. It looks so dope. Whoa! Uh, why can't something exciting happen around here for once? Well, I could Nothing fucking... I could attack you guys. Would that be exciting for you? Is that what you're looking for? Hey, you! Corporate technicians. Yeah, you! With the million-bit smile? How'd you like to make it worth 10 million? Yeah, I got 26,000 credits. I feel like I'm doing pretty okay for myself. Antibiotics. Oh, they got Pac-Man here. That's cool. So much wasted money here. Decadence ain't gonna save you when the beasts get through the wall. I feel like my frame, frame rate's taking a little bit of a hit right now. Climbed up on that to get a look at the gearings. Ooh, it sure is. Incredible. Hey, there we go. Much better. Are you two talking about the new I had to turn some settings down, you know, with my 2080 Ti seems completely fucking necessary. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh so House of Inebriation. This looks like the place. Let's take a Oh, you're so handsome. I love your towel. I bet you spill some fucking drinks though. Uh, these look like the guys. Do they have a key card sitting around? Wow, dude, this place really reminds me of uh, Bioshock Infinite. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Hello! Hey, 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 stand back, you. I'm part of Minister Clark's personal detail, and that means you gotta keep five feet back at all times. Well, he's not here, so... Are you supposed to drink on the job, bud? Of course not. <laughs> but I'm not on the job right now. The others took me out to celebrate on account of me just getting hired and all. Um, is What's so important about guarding Minister Clark to you? You seem pretty excited about your new position. He's basically the most important person in the colony, which makes me the most important guard in the colony. One of the most important guards. Yeah. There that are many of you. I got a key to the minister's estate, my own personal UDL assist issued shotgun. <laughs> they don't give those out to just anyone. You're about to give that to me. A key, you say? That's right. Not just anyone is allowed to have a key to Minister Clark's residence. It's all so very high level. Um, how about I buy you a drink to celebrate your promotion? That's a great idea! I'll have a Spectrum Vodka. Captain, I can smell him from clear over here. I reckon he's had a fair number already. Provide he sure, sure has. Sure have, because today's my big day. He's got powerful good ears, too. <laughs> and a powerful thirst. You, uh, you have a Spectrum Vodka for a new pal? 
Claire in the pal. Offer him a spectrum, spectrum, spectrum vodka. Here's your promotion. Yeah, I guess so. Here's to me. I didn't know I had one. Hey, you're really great. Have I told you that? We should be friends. Is your ear on wow. fire? <laughs> Listen to me. I'm soaked. I should probably slow down before I'm face down on the tile somewhere. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I could, I could have another. You got another? Probably. I don't know. I sure do. It's not every day you get your dream job, right? True. Wow. You got like this crazy energy. Has anyone ever told you that? You're like a, a manosaur. You got a manosaur energy. Wow. Oh, laws. I gotta stop. I'm seeing at least two of you. Only two? You got a ways to go. Have you always been here? I didn't <laughs> see you a minute ago. If the room ain't spinning, then you aren't winning. Uh, so tell me about Mr. Clark. Or should we just let him stumble away and pass out? Oh, um, he's, uh, medium height with, like, medium colored hair and, like, a kind of a medium face. Just like in his posters. How descriptive. You haven't met him yet, have you? Everyone tells me he's very private, okay? Besides, I just started. Um. Oh, shit. I'll leave you to it. Let's see if we can buy any more Spectrum Have Vodka. Have tried our new cocktail sponsored by Rizzo's? One part purple Spectrum Vodka, one part artificial tomato-like substitute juice. We call it a Blue Bloody Mary. Neat. Um, I could use a drink. Then you'll want to speak with our auto mechanical inebriationist. Okay, thanks. Hey, bud. No, that's food service. Auto mechanical inebriation. This guy, right? Bartender. Please allow me to improve your drinking experience with fine cocktails and pre approved banter. Um, I will have a drink, please, for the fine fellow over there. How many do you think it'll take? Uh, you have ten? Fuck it. Give me all of them, dude. We'll make sure we get this key card. Hey, buddy. Hey, pal. I hope you didn't hear me talking. Here's another Spectrum Vodka. I really shouldn't. I'll have the worst hangover tomorrow if I don't stop. Oh, persuade. That's a problem for tomorrow. <laughs> Shit. I, I want to go with the medical one, but the persuade one seems funnier. You know, that's a very good point. Yeah. Was that one supposed to taste like purple berry crunch? Or am I just tasting breakfast? Mm. I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to be sick. Well, here we go. Was this guy not a guard? Come on. Take it easy. You're not even stumbling. You're fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just take a seat, dude. Oh, he fucking died! Oh, well. Thanks, bud. <laughs> I could have just killed him, dude. Citizens, Ooh. today marks a monumentous occasion in the course of Halcyon history. After a deep and thorough can I, examination, can I get over there? Of our budgets, revenue streams, and predictable models, we are publishing our yearly success report. Profits are soaring. This place is looking a little grungier than the other side of town. If they'd sent money to Monarch instead of building even one of those homes, I bet we could have rebuilt Stellar Bay. The whole yeah. damn thing. I bet you're right. So, do you think I should put on that guy's armor? It probably doesn't matter. We have that hologram thing, huh? He has a sight. The off limits. Solicitors, loiterers, and uninvited visitors will be fined to the fullest extent of company policy. This ultimatum brought to you by Universal Defense Logistics. Um, I'm actually here to see the minister. That's funny. The minister isn't expecting visitors. 
And you don't much look like one of those couriers from HPS. Uh, was the minister expecting a delivery? Minister Clark's a private man, and you're asking too many questions. All right. HPS. How far away do we got to go for that? This place was just underneath the bar. God, it's beautiful. Corporate commanders. They're armed to the teeth here as well. That door is locked. Uh. Whoop. Nope. That's not my problem. <laughs> Wanda! I'm afraid I can't help you at the moment. Shit, Have a prosperous dude. day. Fuck. Well, if we can't... Olive? A fine day for parcel pickups, isn't it? Isn't it? Welcome to Halcyon Parcel Service. Deliveries guaranteed within standard margins of accuracy. Well, that's encouraging. Uh, do you have a parcel waiting for Clark? Minister Clark, that is. We do, in fact, have a parcel here for a Mr. Clark, comma, minister. Great! I'm here to pick that up. You're not an official member of the Halcyon Parcel Service team. That means you'll have to sign a release form. Uh, how do I do that? Oh, I'd have to submit a request for a release form, and then wait for a receipt for my request of a release form. Then you'd have to make an appointment. Oh, dear God. How long does that usually take? Couldn't say. We've got a backlog, and I'm planning on retiring in the next 35 years. Oh, Jesus. But I could give my successor a memo on your behalf. <laughs> You're, ki I don't <laughs> You're kidding me, dude. You're welcome to lodge a complaint in our suggestion box. Actually, no. We're still waiting on our delivery of a new suggestion box. Wow, there's a 35-year backlog. Jeez. Yeah, actually, the minister here in Byzantium... I'll, I'll make the delivery, and you're free to take the credit. You do that? Wow. Hey, you know, a positive review from the minister would go a long way in my semi-monthly employment audit. Here's your parcel to oh be delivered God. to Mr. Clark, comma, minister. Law speed. Law speed. Thank you. That was actually way easier than I thought it would be. I passed a guy that was banging on a vending machine trying to get something out joking. saying it doesn't Our work. Fair city is being overrun by a pox of vagrants and undesirables and your plan is to sit idly by. I feel like this place has the outward appearance of being just fantastic. But the suggestion box is gone and they haven't gotten a new one. There's a 35 year minimum backup on the postal service bureaucracy. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Things might be going to shambles behind the scenes. Hey, bud. I, uh, I got that box. You know the one. There's nothing to see here. Move along. Yeah? Let's see it. I've got the parcel right here. Huh. Looks like your papers are in order. All right. Go on through. Thanks. Alternatively, I could have fucking killed him, I imagine, but... Hey, no blood on Billy's hands is good blood to have on Billy's hands. Whoa. It's a big-ass building. Looks like the minister's upstairs. What's this guy doing? Move along. What do you watch? Okay, you're patrolling around. I don't know. I'm kind of curious, dude. We got, like, a dining hall here. A piano room. That's beautiful. I wonder if they let all the couriers snoop around like this. A bathroom corporate guard hello a uh, bar area I don't know what that is maybe a generator or something that was the kitchen oh that's a door outside this is a nice kitchen it's a big gun <laughs> a little storage area in the middle of the stairs okay I mean I, I wouldn't make that choice but you know what I'm not a gazillionaire either. To be fair, this guy might not be either. You don't really know. <gasps> that table was knocked over. Did he rage quit on a Ouija board? Oh my God. <laughs> Minister! You, you, you're not one of my guards. What are you doing here? Oh my law. Captain, Captain, that's the minister, Mr. Clark. Oh, wow. 
If this is about another aether wave clip or radio spot, you may kindly fuck off, as the parlance goes. I'm not doing any more. Well, that was nice. Cut the crap. Now, um, can I just deliver his paper to him? <laughs> his, his package? Seems like we're getting off on the wrong foot, Minister Clark. Have I not made myself clear? Oh, well. Slowly and loudly, Aloysius, that's the only way these morons understand anything. I think... I said you may tell Charles to go fuck himself. It's actually not what you said. Uh, I'm just here to ask you some questions. Actually, let's fucking threaten him. Uh, that doesn't seem like the Billy way. But I think it'd be funny. <laughs> Calm down, I'm just here to ask you some questions. Then you're not part of Rockwell's PR team. Nah, dude. That means you're a dissident? A real, live dissident? But what are you doing here? And how did you get in? Just walked right through the door. Um, all right. I don't know how to pronounce this shit, but I'm here for the dimethyl sulfoxide. Drugs, of course. What else? Why did I get my hopes up? Back to idiot speak. I don't have any drugs. You should try a vending machine or a purveyor of curative goods. He's got no idea what we're asking about. Will that be all, then? Um, let's see. They're not drugs, they're chemicals. And I have, if, and if you haven't been ordering them, who has? Uh, I didn't come all this way to play games. It's your name on these receipts. Let's go with that one. Oh, dear. I don't think I can say this any more slowly. Unless... Of course, of course. It's Rockwell again. Who else? And I thought he was only holding me here to keep me out of the way. Um, God, you better start making sense real fast, dude. Chairman Rockwell. He's kept me under house arrest for years. I've long suspected him of transacting business in my name, but this proves it. You've been all alone in this house? Would would you like me to make you tea? <laughs> Please, this is important. Whatever it is that brought you here, Rockwell's the one behind it. Then I'll have to fucking deal with him. Actually, why would he go through all this trouble? How should I know? I've been under house arrest for years. That's fair. But there is a way to find out, and perhaps to set things right. Whatever Rockwell's doing, he'll be doing it from the HHC headquarters. Your best lead is to look for details in his office. This all feels off, Captain. Like when there's a storm coming, but everything's quiet and still. Believe me, things have been off around here for a very, very long time. A reckoning is most certainly due. This colony's problems have always seemed to trickle down from the top. If we're set on fixing Halcyon, that's as good a place as any to start. Exactly. And fix it we must. Why, this is starting to sound like an issue of Dissident Hunter. Um, so where's the HHC headquarters? Halcyon Holdings Corporation, the collective of companies that run the colony together. Allegedly in partnership with the Earth Directorate and appointed Minister of Earth. Wasn't that the board? How is that different from the board? How do I get to the headquarters? Via the Acropolis District, of course. That's where the most important corporate and government facilities are. But only board employees are allowed into the district. There's a heavily guarded checkpoint just down the street. There might be a route through the maintenance tunnels, but I'm afraid I don't know specifics. Most people avoid the area for obvious reasons. Mm, once I get into the, the district, what do I do then? When you reach the HHC building, this access card should get you up to the executive suites, where the chairman's office and what used to be my office are. Um, what used to be your office? Oh, I haven't been allowed up there in years. I shudder to think what Rockwell's done with the place. A gilded minibar, perhaps? A personal theater? A man has too much money and too little sense. All right, I'll be on my way then. Actually, is that a good question? I don't really care. Wait, 
Rockwell has one of the only terminals capable of transmitting to the Earthbound message drone. This is our chance. Please, take this and transmit it from his office. Rockwell hasn't given me any messages from Earth for years. He's desperate to keep me out of contact with the Earth Directorate. But they need to know what's happening here. Um, why do I care? <laughs> what's on the cartridge? What isn't on it is the real question. I've gathered meeting minutes, internal messages, sustainability reports, and more. All exposing the corruption and mismanagement plaguing Halcyon. Oh, I like that. Once the rest of the Earth Directorate sees it, they'll have to send help. But they wouldn't get here for... I don't even know. Shouldn't we do something our own selves? It's worth a try, but the Earth Directorate still needs that message. We must hope for their intervention. All right. How long will this take? Depending on the nature of their response, months at least. Perhaps years. Organizing and sending personnel all the way out here is no mean feat. But if it works, it'll be worth it, right? Perhaps there is hope after all. And now I entrust it to you. Good luck and trust no one in the Acropolis district. Yo, this could be our chance to like get the corporations working the right way. That's actually really encouraging. All right, I'm gonna get down to street level and I'm definitely not going to be able to walk through the checkpoint. But he did say there's going to be some service tunnels that lead to the other area. Now, isn't this place going to be guarded on the other side of the service tunnels anyway? Am I going to have to use my hologram to maneuver around? I'm not too sure. Mm, yep. The Acropolis district is off limits. Move along. Definitely looking heavily guarded. Uh, mind if I take a breather? I'm pretty tired of hauling around all these bits, dude. What in the law's name are you on about? Oh, you know, these 2,040 bits have just been weighing me down all day. Here, please, you can hold them. Sure. Let me just take that off your hands. Did I say restricted area? Slip of the tongue. What I meant was, welcome to the Acropolis District. Why, thank you. I knew we could get that resolved. I'm still pretty rich, right? 21,000, that's not bad. We could have come in from the service tunnels, but it sounded like they were gross as fuck. And we could have just killed all those guys. Psh, fucking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven versus... Okay, plus those in. There was guys outside, and that would probably make everyone in the city turn on us too. You know what? Um, I'm pretty happy with what we did. Who the fuck needs bits after you save the galaxy? You know, oh my god, this place Captain, is beautiful. I stand out here like a big, greasy thumb. You're beautiful. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. So, if I were the executive suites, uh, I'd be this way. Hello. Please step away. This entry is for high priority HHC business only. And that would be my business. Show them the minister's HHC access card. Is this official enough for you, guard back there? Huh. I didn't realize we were still using those iridescent stickers. But this looks right. I'll just need you to register your weapons with a revised request to carry 32B form. Each weapon will need a separate form. Oh my god. F fine. Well, let's see. Damn it. When did I run out of forms? Oh, uh, what a shame. <laughs> you don't have to be sarcastic about it. Look, you don't have time to wait on new forms. And I can't afford the citations for impeding HAC business. So I'm going to save us both some trouble and waive your forms. Just know there are a bunch of guards upstairs and they're all high on dervish mist and low on patience. So try anything funny, and they'll paint the walls with your guts. Thanks for the warning. I have a mind control gun that says something different, though. I think we'd be okay, ladies. I think we could do it. All right, well. We didn't have to go up that high. Not that big of a building. What is our actual quest here say to do? 
Minister Clark knows nothing about the, the chemical and explained that the chairman Rockwell has actually been keeping him under house erects. Clark is certain that Rockwell is behind the purchase of the chemicals, the maintenance tunnel connect. Okay, we don't need the maintenance tunnels. We're already up here. So we'll just talk to the guy. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, just six in this room. Good morning. Apologies for the wait. I was arranging my stationery. Yeah, no problem, dude. Uh, what exactly do you do here? Personal assistant to Adjutant Akande and Chairman Rockwell. I'm also responsible for organizing the adjutant's stationery, which is more of a hobby. <laughs> Good for you. Hey, can I go in and talk to Chairman Rockwell? Ah. Uh, oh, you were being serious. I'm obliged to inform you that Chairman Rockwell is unavailable for an indeterminate duration. Will there be anything else? Yeah, but... I'm gonna go in there, so... This is sealed. Are all these other doors sealed as well? Sealed. Oh, it doesn't even give me the option, so... This looks like it's sealed. Unlock with the HH... Oh! Oh! This is his old office! Excuse me, just a moment! What? I beg your pardon, Minister Clark's former office is currently closed to solicitors. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what a funny lie. <laughs> I think we're just like three points off from being able to actually use that. Uh, it won't be long. I'm just actually just admiring the architecture. It's no big deal. I suppose that is admissible. Please try not to break anything. You got it, dude. Examine. <laughs> Construction checklist. Get rid of Mr. Clark's stuff. Tear down the rest of the wall. Check to see if the wall is load-bearing. Do before number two. <laughs> Install a steam bath to Chairman Rockwell's specifications. Install a wet bar next to the steam bath. Finish everything before Chairman Rockwell returns. Should be number one. Beautiful stained glass. I really like that. Looks like they were going through some of his things, but obviously they were going through some of his things if they're gonna go through all the trouble of breaking the wall down. Uh, One person gets all this space. He's not in here. Just to, to sign papers all day? What the fuck? Is he this way? I guess they just said he was unavailable. They didn't say he wasn't home. He wants another bar over there? Is this not enough bars? Oh man, look at that view. Actually, it reminds me a lot of that in Oblivion. There was a town, I don't remember the name of it, that uh, was kind of designed like this, where it had walls that descended down and it was in the snowy part of the region. So you could stand up by the castle like this and see the entire city encompassed by these walls and different layers of the city breaching out from that. It was really cool. Uh, let's see. View priority messages. Chairman, the rough cut of the presentation is prepped to play. The PR department has a lot of work to do, but we've covered the basics. Halcyon is on the brink of starvation. The board scientists are working on a solution. Workers can look forward to lifetime employment programs for their chance to contribute. You'll see the current versions when you print your key card for the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. Yes, before you ask, the dimethyl sulfoxide has been delivered there. Well, that's our clue. It's waiting for you to sign off on the board stroke, so I wanted to make sure that you saw it. Don't worry. I'll make sure it gets properly edited. Oh. We'll go ahead and print that key card. Good afternoon. I'm Chairman Rockwell, and I'm here to address a serious issue facing us. As you all know, our colony has been successful beyond our wildest dreams. Unfortunately, We've recently discovered that our food supply will not be able to sustain Halcyon's population in the long term. Everyone will die. Mm. Everyone will slowly stop living from malnutrition. But we're doing it together, and that's what matters. I fucking swear, if someone doesn't give me something to read that will placate the masses soon, all of you will find yourselves violently unemployed. <laughs> 
But I can assure you there's nothing to fear. We've got a solution. It's called the Lifetime Employment Program. We will freeze most of the colony to preserve resources, while the best and brightest of Byzantium continue living in prosperity. Look, you idiots! How many times do I have to tell you we can't say shit like that? Fire whoever wrote this! While Halcyon's brightest minds solve the problem of our nutritional shortage, the rest of the colony will be placed in suspended animation. Individuals will be revived on a rotating basis so that every Halcyonite can be part of the important work of saving our colony. By testing paperweights. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> couldn't resist that. Now let's go again. <laughs> and someday, in the not too distant future when we've solved this crisis, we'll all be back together again working for the good of Halcyon. Until then, the board shall provide for the deserving just as it always has. So, obey your supervisors, take your vitamins, follow your corporate mandated grooming rituals, and rest assured with the board on your side, there is nothing to worry about. Well, that was... That was all a story, wasn't it? It's not real. <laughs> nah, it seems Just pretty real. Uh, send Minister Clark's message to Earth. Done. That, I think that was the right thing to do. We got to get some help out here. People are fucked, dude. Uh, personal files. Who, what's taking so long? How long does it take to clear out an abandoned office? Talk, toss Clark's belongings into the streets of Byzantium for all I care. He's not using them. Just get my office expansion done before I return. I'm tired of staring at that fucking hole in the wall. He didn't say it, but it was inferred. And for law's sake, do something about the doom and gloom presentation. We have the brightest minds in Halcyon working in our public relations department, and they make this announcement sound like a damn funeral elegy. We need something bright and cheerful. We need something that we can sell. Uh, monsieur? Uh, reschedule the regular Wednesday massage. I have urgent matters to attend to offsite. Food reserves. Chairman, I've made inquiries and can confirm that we have plenty of food, real food, stored away from our inner colony trade. The nutritional profile of food produced with, within Halcyon has continued to decline. Soon, people are going to start feeling hungry, no matter how much they eat. Unfortunately, it's gotten too expensive to continue buying from even the closest colonies, but what we have will sustain Byzantium and a minimal workforce for the foreseeable future. Well, that's not fucking good. So the food that they have is so bad that people are just going to go hungry no matter what. The heads of the other nine corporations are up in arms about their shares again. The head of UDL, you can overrule them easily, but I thought you should know they're at it again. Okay. Yeah, I thought there'd be a little bit more conflict in here, I gotta be honest. You've learned that the dimethyl sulfoxide is at the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale, along with whatever Chairman Rockwell is working on. So it looks like that's where all of this is going to come to a head. I'll be on my way now. Good luck with your stationery. Gentlemen. Luckily for us, this place was right next door. Uh, it's, it's locked, but we have the key card. We printed it off the terminal in there. It's really convenient that they just let you print an infinite number of things off of certain terminals. Wow, it's gorgeous in here. Uh, let's see. Any clues on where we need to go? Oh, it looks like down. Okay. Uh... Well, this appears to be... Not so fast. The Ministry of Accuracy and Morale is off-limits to everyone without X-36 level clearance. Basically, if you don't work here, or for Chairman Rockwell himself, you're not getting in. Well, I actually do work for Chairman Rockwell. I don't know how you got that, but I still don't know you, and I don't have any new clearances on the list. Well, let me through right now or your official record won't be fit for polishing fucking floors. Look at that, 70 intimidation. What? 
Waste my time and I'll bury you so deep in citations, you'll die of paper cuts before you ever crawl out! Oh no. You must be from Chairman Rockwell's office. I'm so sorry. No one told me you were coming. Please, go on through. And let's forget this misunderstanding, huh? That's what I fucking thought. Gentlemen, I belong here. I probably have a clipboard somewhere. Go fuck yourself, you can't see my clipboard. Dude, talking our way through problems is really starting to pay off. I assume this is an elevator to go down. A lot of guards here. I mean, don't get me wrong, we could have gotten through this no problem. I'm really not even worried about that in the slightest. Pravati could take on a goddamn army as far as I'm concerned. Uh, we're getting down on the same level. I assume that he won't be too happy to see me, but the real question is, do I hit him with the mind control device or the shrink ray first? It's a really important decision. I like the color-coded lines. I hear about you ordering more tests performed with sample 4157. What the fuck was that? Is there monkeys in here? What the fuck? They're eating the little rats. Oh! Develop, I haven't seen you before. You're not a test subject, are you? Oh, in the camps. Oh, no. You're just in here with your poop. Oh, no. All right. Well, we still have clearance, right? Oh, fuck. What's going on in here? I see red... Markers on the map. What? Nothing. Nope, nothing to worry about. I totally have access to this though. Don't don't you don't you even worry. Does this go back up? Fuck. Here they come. Well, it looks like we're shooting people. All right, bud. You stay right the fuck there. I can't open this door. Hey, stop fucking shooting me. I almost fucking died, dude. Ladies. Thank you. You know I don't deal the damage. I have this recombobulator. I haven't actually hit anyone with it yet. Food addiction. No. No, I do not. Do not want food addiction, thank you. All right, well, it looks, our, looks like our restricted access is not going to last much longer. Here we go. Nice one. I don't see his proportions changing. I probably shouldn't beat up the scientists. That's probably rude. They're just doing a job. They're not necessarily evil. Well, they both got AOE. It's not my problem. Nothing personal, I swear. Okay, boys. Unfortunately, Nyoka is not as forgiving as I am. Hold on, I want to see this guy. I want to. I want to hit him with the recombobulator. Oh, I made his head bigger. Well, too bad they're wearing helmets and I can't fucking see it. No hard feelings, okay? You be on our team. Oh, he melted. That was the mind control device. It didn't seem like it did much mind controlling. It seemed like it did mostly mind melting. All right, I'm actually getting further away from the thing. I'm sorry I killed one scientist, okay? We won't kill any more scientists. Wait, did I kill two scientists? All right, uh, it's, it's a pair. No, he's not dead. Wait, is he gonna come over here and hit me? <laughs> no, I think he just... He's like, all right, back to work now. My friends are dead, who cares? Exit. Well, this doesn't look like an exit at all. Barred door. An elevator up. Okay, we might have to check out the map. Should be fairly easy. Covering you! 
can't get past that armor. Good job, Cap. Go! Can't get past that armor. I'll fix you right up. I am a fool. We're not getting through. What's that? Well, I've killed a couple more guards, and I think everyone's fucking mad at me in here. This is the commander. The mind control device just kind of seems to make them not shoot me anymore, and I can channel this into them, and they don't seem to deal with it very well. These guys are wearing pretty heavy armor. Oh, my allies are dead. Hold on. Yeah, be my friend. Hold on, I'm re-fucking loading, dude! Oh shit, we're actually taking a lot of damage. Slow it down. Slow it down. We'll just break line of sight here really fast. We have our knockdown. Oh, we don't have our knockdown. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck! Okay, alright, this is fine. We can fix this. We can fix this. Oh god, alright, slow it down. Uh, knockout. I can't slow it down again. I can't slow it down again. Oh god, I gotta reload. Fuck! Hey, bud. All right, we're chilling. Now. We're okay. Oh, I hated that. Oh, I hated that. That was. That was not a good time. That was not a good time. I think my friends are still dead. Does Billy have to do this on his own? I should have used this thing. I think it does the most damage. The science weapons don't seem that effective at killing people. Uh. They're not. They're not. Res oh, okay, there they go. Thank God. All right. Let me in here, dude. Oh, what? Are they all frozen? I can't open that door. Good thing the other side just opens. Oh. Can you guys take down this medical drone, please? That seems right. You got it, Captain. Thank you. Sorry. Board reputation decreased. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. So... Um, I guess we have to go back in there. Ah, uh, there was another door here. It led to some stairs. And a lot of enemies that way. At least the door's not barred anymore. And that's the elevator out. Yeah, this is a little room we saw earlier. So there's just people in stasis in here. Like, all over the place. Whoa. Uh, well, there it is. The dimethyl sulfoxide. Can I, uh... Can I just take that? Looks like we have to use this. Okay, no problem. Transfer the methyl sulfoxide to canister. This procedure may result in invalidation of experimental results and death of human test subjects. Okay. Uh, reducing the methyl sulfoxide concentration to never cancel the experiment associated data. Experimental integrity and test subject vitality can be maintained by leaving. No, I'll take it all. That's okay. Nothing's going... Oh, they're all dying around me. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> I was like, I'm sure I'm, I'll be able to ignore all of that. No problem. But <laughs> oh, it happened so fast. It happened so fast. Okay, I think I could just take that elevator up. And then uh, we could try to get out of here.
That's that's the plan. Well, we're back at the entrance. That was nice and easy. So I sent the message out to Earth to send reinforcements because we clearly need them here. Everything's gone to shit. It's okay to ask for help. Doesn't mean you're a failure to ask for help. I mean, I don't know if they'll see it the same way. Now, according to our journal, now that we have the dimethyl sulfoxide, rendezvous with Phineas at his lab and plan your next move. Just have to go to the ship to do that. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. You have a message from adjutant Sophia Akande. No one ever looks quite the same in Hello. person as they do in my reports. And my reports of you have been exceptionally thorough. Oh, yeah? You've had quite a career. I've been trying, you know. Uh, oh, I'm just getting started. <laughs> you mean stumbling around the colony pretending to know what I'm doing? That's pretty accurate. I think you're being modest. I've been keeping up with you ever since Emerald Vale. Now that was an interesting piece of work. A run-down backwater, barely worth the ink on a map. Until you showed up. When you cut off power to Edgewater, you saved me a great deal of trouble. Now I don't have to bother trying to save that town. All this happened because some mysterious stranger fell out of the sky. Yeah. Um. You almost sound like you approve. Not always. For the longest time, I could never be sure if you were on our side or against us. You should be back on the Hope, frozen in a hibernation chamber. Yet here you are, flying about in a stolen ship, leaving a trail of paperwork in your wake. The board doesn't know what to make of you. But I do. I've seen your potential. There's so much we can do for this colony. Um... You wanted to talk to me. Make me an offer. You have something I want. I'd like to negotiate. I'm listening. Phineas Wells is wanted by the board. I want to convince you to turn him in to us. <laughs> what is he wanted for exactly? He has a litany of charges against him. Vandalism, illegal experimentation, sedition. I could go on. I don't know what sedition even means. Wells is a dangerous madman. His plan is going to endanger everyone in Halcyon. He's an obsessive psychopath. And he's using you. You're in contact with Wells. I want you to send us a tracing signal from his communication terminal. You want me to sell him out? Wells was our mistake. We failed to apprehend him for years. I'm asking you to help me correct that mistake. I'm sending you my access code. Contact me from Wells's terminal. When you're done, come speak to me in my office. Adjutant Akande's call has been terminated. Will there be anything else, Captain? No, that'll 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 do, Ada. Thank you. I'm most certainly not doing that. I wonder if I can tell Wells about it though. Man, that is beautiful.